Welcome back to Monkey Toss's Biff Bang Pow. This is your comic news for February 4th. Last week, Marvel Comics shocked their readers by bringing back Captain America, a superhero who had been dead since 2007. To further surprise readers, they did it in a comic book called Captain America Reborn. The internet is buzzing with rumors that Marvel Comics character The Sentry may actually be independent character Miracle Man. Other conspiracy theories include that Captain America is Wonder Woman and that Batman is a bowl of spaghetti. On Friday, February 5th, the CW will air a special two-hour episode of Smallville that introduces the superhero team, the Justice Society of America. In other news, did they make new episodes of Smallville? New teasers have been released for X-Men's newest crossover, Second Coming, which promises the return of either Jean Grey or the Phoenix Force. This is not a repeat from 1980, 1999, 2002, or 2006. And that concludes our news. Let's see what just came out in comics this week. Hello, welcome back to Biff Bang Pow on Monkey Toss TV. I'm Matt, and I'm not holding anything today. It's the wave of the feature. And Jamie's going to tell us the wave of comics this week. Jamie? Hi, guys. Let's start with Criminal. Read it. This is still great crime noir stuff. It's still one of our better sellers. And this is a Marvel title, even though it says Icon. That's simply an imprint. Ultimate X, for the uh, answer to the question that nobody asked, yeah, the Ultimate Universe now has Wolverine's son. This uh, Blackest Night Wonder Woman is actually pretty entertaining, and it has a lot of pathos in it. I, uh, I recommend this. If you're reading just the hardcore Blackest Night titles, you might want to add the three-issue Wonder Woman set to your read. Justice Society Annual. Confrontation between Magog and everyone else, and this is pretty much... 48 pages just knock down, drag out fighting with everybody involved. Don't read it for the continuity, read it for the action because you'll be confused. Red Robin, I typify this as kind of Batman light. This is actually entertaining. It isn't deep, but there are several backstories going on and this is actually a pretty entertaining read. And then finally the boys, yes, there's nudity, there's sex, it's graphic violence, and it's the revelation of the storyline between Huey and uh, Starlight, who is the, uh, well, I can't say anymore because that would be nasty. That's all I got to say. You know what I love about Red Robin? They're delicious cheeseburgers and unlimited french fries. I'm going to throw it over to Dan who's going to talk about whatever he feels like talking about today, if he feels like it. So I like X-Men. X-Men is a comic book that I like. I've liked it since I was a kid. I understand it can be confusing which is why I don't care about it most of the time, but I care about it right now, so I'm going to tell you about the X-Men books, most of which I don't read, but hey. Uncanny X-Men, this is the main X-Men book. It's where all the important stuff happens. It's written by Matt Fraction, my hero. Um, it's very good, it's very fun. X-Men Legacy is sort of the second cousin. Like, it's cool, I guess, if you want to read more X-Men, like if the first X-Men book isn't enough. Astonishing X-Men is by Warren Ellis, so it has that going for it. It's pretty fun, it's got weird sci-fi stuff. If you want to see the X-Men in their younger days, there's X-Men First Class. If you want to pretend that nothing ever happened after 1990, there's X-Men Forever. If you want to see X-Men being forceful, there's X-Force. And in X-Factor, they're um, detectives or something. I don't know, it's, it's really just for fans of X-Factor. Now, if you want Wolverine, there's 700 books about Wolverine, and they're all pretty much the same, so enjoy. Okay, so what's our pick of the week? The Doom Patrol. Oh, the new one? <laughs> Not that one. That one's good too. This Weird One by Grant Morrison. If you haven't read it, it's crazy. It's got robots and hermaphrodite space ladies and monkey girls. It's great. Check it out if you feel your sanity can hold it. And I really like the cover of this comic that I just found in a box. It's called Blood Bowl Killer Contract. I don't know what it's about, but dig that cover, man. Perfect for you guys that watch the Super Bowl and read comic books, which don't exist. So we'll see you next week. I'm Matt. I'm Danny. Have a good one. I can't open mine. That's not my problem. Just look at it.